Evolution of King Ghidorah King Ghidorah, as an ancient extraterrestrial entity, makes his first debut in the 1964 movie, Ghidorah, the Three-Headed Monster, where he arrives on Earth inside a meteorite and is prepared to destroy it, just as he had done to Venus thousands of years ago. He was driven off by the combined might of Godzilla, Rodan, and Mothra. Starting in the 1965 movie, Invasion of Astro Monster, King Ghidorah is portrayed as the pawn of various alien races seeking to subjugate Earth. In this movie, he is a pawn of the Zillions, who refer to him as Monster Zero, which has become a popular alias for the monster. The Xillions unleashed King Ghidorah on Earth once more, along with Godzilla and Rodan, who were now under their control, but a group of humans were able to break the aliens' hold on the monsters. Godzilla and Rodan teamed up again to defeat King Ghidorah, sending him back into outer space. Unlike the 1964 movie, King Ghidorah was given a darker shade of gold, and its movements both on land and in the air were more fluid. In the next movie, Destroy All Monsters, King Ghidorah is unleashed by the Kelax in a desperate final attempt to defend their base of operations from Godzilla and the Earth monsters, but while seemingly invincible, he is eventually overpowered by the combined strength of the Earth monsters, and is killed. In the 1972 movie Godzilla vs. Goggin, King Ghidorah was now under the control of the M-Space Hunter Nebula aliens, who deployed him alongside their cyborg monster Goggin to assault the Earth. Once again, King Ghidorah was beaten by Godzilla, this time aided by Anguirus, and retreated back into outer space with Gigan. In the TV show Zone Fighter, King Ghidorah appears in the fifth and sixth episodes, where he is one of the terror beasts of the Garoga aliens. King Ghidorah seems to be able to produce hurricane force, wins by flapping his wings, which are capable of blowing away buildings and knocking other monsters off their feet. In the 1991 movie Godzilla vs. King Ghidorah, he is part of a scheme by time-traveling terrorists to destroy Japan in the past to prevent it from becoming a global economic superpower. He is the result of the Futurians placing three genetically engineered creatures from the future called Doras on Lagos Island in 1944. In 1954, the Dorets were exposed to the Castle Bravo hydrogen bomb test conducted at nearby Bikini Atoll which caused them to merge and mutate into King Ghidorah. In 1992, the Earth Unionists unleash Ghidorah on Japan, but he is defeated by a recreated Godzilla. King Ghidorah's body stays under the Sea of Okhotsk for two centuries before being recovered by a defected Earth Unionist to make it a cyborg and sent back to 1992 as Mecha King Ghidorah in order to stop Godzilla's rampage. Ghidorah is shown to be able to constrict his enemies with his necks and the Mecha King Dodora version is equipped with a gravity laser cannon fired from its robotic head, electrified grapples, and a mechanical arm in its chest for capturing Godzilla. In the 1993 movie Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, Mecha King Ghidorah's remains are salvaged by the United Nations, Godzilla Countermeasure Center, and used to build Mechagodzilla. In the TV show Godzilla Island, starting in episode 6, the Zillion Zagurisu controls the monsters into fighting against each other and sends King Ghidorah to Earth. The humans break the mind control, but most are too injured to continue fighting. Godzilla and Rodan battle King Ghidorah, and all three monsters are knocked off the cliff. King Ghidorah lay at the bottom of the ocean until Zagurisu blasted him with her laser and brought him back. He fought fiercely against Godzilla, whose atomic ray he felt just for the second time. Godzilla eventually obtains the upper hand and bites one of Ghidorah's necks. Attempting to fly away, King Ghidorah utilizes all of his strength to free himself, even carrying Godzilla into the air, and eventually escapes. In the 1998 movie Rebirth of Mothra 3, King Ghidorah is depicted as an extraterrestrial that landed on Earth during the Cretaceous period of the Mesozoic era and wiped out the dinosaurs by draining them of their life energies. He left Earth and returned in modern times to feed on human children. King Ghidorah is also portrayed as capable of firing lightning bolts from its wings, hypnotizing, spitting fireballs, and regenerating its entire body from severed body parts. In the 2001 movie Giant Monsters All Out Attack, Ghidorah is portrayed as one of Yamato's three guardians, originating 1,000 years before the film's events. 
Ghidorah was first an opponent who was imprisoned on Mount Fuji before being reawakened in 2001 to stop Godzilla's destruction of Tokyo. King Ghidorah is defeated but reborn after absorbing the life force of his fellow Mothra. And now he can create a golden round energy shield that deflects Godzilla's atomic breath, potentially causing a massive explosion. In the 2004 movie, Godzilla Final Wars, a monster called Kaiser Ghidorah appears to be based on Ghidorah as the true form of Monster X. In the 2018 animated movie, Godzilla the Planet Eater, Ghidorah differs significantly from his original representation, having evolved to the point of abandoning his physical body in favor of a form of pure astral energy with two tails and three necks that reach at least 20 kilometers in length stretching out of three black hole-like portals to devour planets sacrificed to him by the Exif cult with his gravitational powers while his torso remains in an alternate dimension. Because of his defiance of physics, he is virtually unbeatable until his connection to this universe is severed, at which point Godzilla can disperse, vanquish, and effectively exile him back to his parallel world for the time being. In the 2019 movie, Godzilla, King of the Monsters, King Ghidorah acts as an invasive species commanding most of the world's titans to decimate the planet's ecosystem, but he is not above targeting individual humans, even if they pose no threat to him. This is the first movie to depict King Ghidorah's heads with distinct personalities, with the center head keeping the aggressive right head and the curious left head on task. Halfway through the movie, he demonstrates two unnatural powers that are attributed to and serve as proof of his alien origin. The first is its capacity to survive the Oxygen Destroyer and emerge undamaged from the same detonation that critically crippled Godzilla. The second is Ghidorah's tremendously accelerated regenerative abilities, which include regrowing his left head while preserving memories and personality, as his neurons are scattered throughout his body like an octopus. Godzilla eventually incinerated Ghidorah's wings, side heads, body, and middle head. Ghidorah, on the other hand, was not completely destroyed since his head was rescued after being chewed off by Godzilla during the battle. In the 2021 movie Godzilla vs. Kong, it is revealed that Ghidorah's heads communicated with each other via telepathy, as his necks were so long that communication via the nervous system was impractical. Apex Cybernetics, which has acquired King Ghidorah's skull and brain, is using these telepathic abilities as the basis of a psychic control system for Mechagodzilla. When Mechagodzilla got enough energy to power itself properly, Ghidorah's mind abruptly transferred to this new body, frying the pilot as he took complete control of the robot. Eventually, Godzilla and Kong joined their efforts to destroy Mechagodzilla and Ghidorah's consciousnesses.